Hi everyone, this is Neha from Aptunix. Welcome back to our channel where we talk about the business world and how your business can lead the market and become a successful running enterprise. Today, in this video, we will be talking about the biggest industry standing distinguished in the market, on-demand food delivery. We will also discuss about the market statistics, working, business model and revenue model of the leaders of this industry. Those are DoorDash, Uber Eats, Talabat and Deliveroo. If you want your food delivery app to shine like this, you have come to the right place. The food delivery market is rising at such a speed that we cannot imagine. The market size value calculated in 2020 was $35.7 billion and the revenue forecast is expected to reach $63.6 billion by 2025. The leading food delivery service provider, DoorDash, started with a simple mission to enable every merchant to deliver. The need of the app was realized by looking at a very thick book containing only the order and delivery details. As the app started growing, Tony Zhu, the CEO of DoorDash, realized that the business was destined to grow. Did you know DoorDash increased its revenue by 241% in 2020, that is $850 million to $2.9 billion. With the growing rate of 20% every week, it has about 18 million active users and that is a huge number for any business. Above all this, DoorDash has acquired 45% of the food delivery market in the United States. And you will be amazed to know that it generated a revenue of $1.28 billion only in the third quarter of 2021. You must be wondering how such an app acquired such huge market. Let me tell you the strategies that DoorDash uses to attract customers. It offers simple and excellent features and functionalities like a new recommendation system that uses a recommendation algorithm to deliver a more personalized and relevant suggestion. A new rating system that allows the user to know if he's ordering from the crowd's favorite place. And where's my dasher that allows the users to track their delivery agents in real time. These seem to be pretty basic features, but these features are what attracts the customers the most. Now let's discuss the easy working of DoorDash that offers excellent user experience to its customers. It follows a four simple step working model. Users search for their orders, place it by making payments through an offline or an online mode. Later, they can track it through GPS until it is safely delivered to their doorstep. Now comes the most awaited and interesting question. How does DoorDash make money? If you're a business owner planning to launch your own app like DoorDash, monetization strategies play a significant role in your planning. DoorDash makes money with the help of three main strategies. Commission on every order. A commission fee is charged of about 20% on each order delivered by the listed restaurants. Delivery fee. DoorDash has its own set of delivery agents known as the Dashers where the delivery fee is charged from the customers based on the distance of travel and the restaurant partner. And last but not the least is advertisements. DoorDash also charges from various businesses to advertise their brand on the app. So these were the main ways that help DoorDash make money and stand out in the market. If you're planning to launch your food delivery business with an app like DoorDash, Click on the link in the description and let's get started. That was all about DoorDash and I think I've given you a basic idea about it. Now let's discuss about the global food delivery industry leader Uber Eats. Uber launched its side project Uber Eats when its reputation was straight for transporting humans or sandwiches as it used to deliver food and beverages items to the office employees during working hours. Later, it bloomed and generated a revenue of $4.8 billion in 2020. Isn't that amazing? It is one of the most popular food delivery service providers with 66 million active users. 
You will be surprised to know that Uber Eats has acquired 29% of the food delivery market. It is available in 6,000 cities with 600,000 supported restaurants. Those were some huge numbers. Now, the question is, what makes Uber Eats unique that it has so many users and the numbers are still growing? The question can be answered in three points. The first one is fast delivery. As you know, no one likes to wait for their food and that is why Uber Eats came up with the idea to deliver orders within 30 minutes. Obviously, there were some exceptional cases based on the distance of travel, but that is what caught the attention of many customers. The next is minimum order. Uber Eats never followed the concept of getting orders delivered only if it surpasses a minimum amount. If you want just a packet of milk, irrespective of the cost, Uber Eats will get it delivered. The third and the most popular factor of gaining customer traction is Uber. Uber has already set an empire in the market with a lot of user base. This helped Uber Eats gather a lot of attention. Now coming to the business model that Uber Eats follows to help it function so well in the marketplace. Basically, it is a combination of three business models. The first one is multi-sided platform where Uber Eats acts as an intermediary between the demand and the supply, that is, the customers and the restaurants. The second is the aggregator model, where Uber Eats gathers all the information about the goods and services to compete well with other food delivery service providers. And the last is on-demand business, where Uber Eats focuses mainly on the demand of the customers. When a user raises a demand, the request is taken to the restaurant then to the delivery agent to supply it back to the customer. These were the three models that Uber Eats follows to stand out in the marketplace and to earn money. I know what you guys are thinking. How do these models help Uber Eats in earning money? Well, there are some monetization strategies that the app follows. Those strategies are, the first one is revenue per order. Whenever a user places an order, 14 to 20 percent of the revenue is taken from that order only. The second strategy is delivery and convenience, where a delivery fee is charged based on the distance of travel. And whenever a user cancels an order due to his reason, a cancellation fee is also charged. And the last one is marketing and advertising. Now, as you all know, Uber is a very big platform. Therefore, in order to advertise any brand on the app, Uber Eats charged a hefty amount. These were some of the functions and strategies that made Uber Eats famous and gather a strong market. If you have a similar business idea or you're planning to launch a food delivery business, click on the link in description and get your code now. Now that you know about DoorDash and Uber Eats, let's discuss a little bit about Deliveroo. In the sea of food delivery apps, Deliveroo stands out not because of its employment model or business, but because of its tentativeness towards food delivery. It started with the aim to not only provide ease to the food delivery businesses, but also to cut out cooking at home. It aims at maximizing the earnings of restaurants and delivery while simultaneously minimizing the customer waiting time. With 10 million active users, Deliveroo has set its ground in the food delivery market. You will be surprised to know that it generated a revenue of $5.5 billion in 2020 with 54% increase year on year. Now let me tell you about the working of Deliveroo. It acts as an intermediary between the customer and the restaurant. Using the app, when a customer places an order, then the order is conveyed to the participating restaurant. And when the food is prepared, a Deliveroo courier picks up the order and delivers it to the customer's location. The business model that Deliveroo follows is the platform to consumer model, which means any of the food that is ordered is not cooked by Deliveroo, but they have a plenty of partner restaurants for this. It works with two models, restaurant partners and delivery partners. To the restaurant partners, Deliveroo brings brand promotion, growth, tech, support, perks, POS integration, and many more. Whereas to the delivery partners, it brings flexible work hours, 
tips and reference, coupons, discounts and various other perks. Now how does Deliveroo make money? A big share of the revenue generated by Deliveroo comes directly from its customers. They are charged a delivery fee of 3 to 4 dollars and a commission fee of 10 to 20 percent per order. Some part of the revenue comes from advertisement and partner perks given to the partner restaurants from a certain fee. If you are interested to launch your food delivery business, we suggest you go with the Deliveroo model as it is cost effective as you only have to invest in the delivery agents. If you want to know more about Deliveroo and its business model, check out the link in description below. Last but not the least, we have Talabat, one of the most famous food delivery service providers in the Middle East region. It was launched in 2004 with the aim to offer an easy food delivery experience to not only the customers but also to the restaurants. Talabat is one of the most famous food delivery service providers in the Middle East and the North Africa region with over 10,000 listed restaurants. Now let me tell you about the business model of Talabat. It works on the hyper-local on-demand delivery model where when a customer attaches its item to the cart, he or she can place the order and then later monitor it. The user can also connect with the delivery agents to ask them about any delivery related information. The excellent business model has turned the fortune of this Qatar based food delivery platform. The company is so big that the revenue generated will obviously be in big numbers. Hence, the next question is, how does Talabat make money? There are three monetization strategies that Talabat implements. The first one is commission where a commission fee is charged of 50 to 20% on the order's bill. The second one is the delivery charge, where the app charges a delivery fee based on the travel distance, demand and other factors. The last one is advertising. Talabat mainly makes money through two types of advertising, banner ads and priority listing. It charges some amount of money from the brands that want to advertise themselves on the app and from the restaurants that want to stay on top of the list. Now that you've realized that the food delivery market is growing rapidly, I think it's worthwhile a decision to invest in on-demand food delivery app development. Click on the link in description to hire the best food delivery app development company. You can book your 30 minutes free consultation by emailing us at sales at the rate apptunings.com or you can DM us at our social media handles given in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and press the bell icon for future updates.